What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. You have 12 coins, 11 of which weigh a, the exact same amount and one that weighs slightly more than the rest. If you have a balance scale that can only be used three times, how can you find the heavy coin? Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, so there are two ways that you can go about to solve this problem. So check this out, I got a balance scale, right? And the heavier side, when I lay two quantities on, you know, one on each, the heavier side will dip lower. So this is how we're gonna start. And this is option number one. I'm gonna split this into groups of four. So we're gonna kind of separate it out like so. Now again, we don't know what the heavy coin looks like. It looks indistinguishable, so we have no idea. So we can only figure this out through weighing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weigh this group of four against this group of four. Now, there are a couple different possibilities. One possibility is that the heavy coin is in this bunch. The other is in this bunch, and the other is in this bunch. So check this out. This will work for any of those possibilities. Let's say that both of these groups of four are exactly equivalent in weight. They'll be perfectly balanced. Then we know that these are equivalent, meaning they're all the same coins, meaning the heavy coin cannot be in this group. So we're like, all right, cool. These group of eight don't have the heavy coin. So we kind of put these back. Then we know that the heavier coin has to be in this bunch. So now we have two times that we can weigh left. Now I can split this up into groups of two and groups of two, we weigh them. Whichever side is heavier, let's say this side is heavier, then we know that this side contains the heavy coin, then we split this one up, whichever one is heavier is the heavy coin. The other way in that first bunch is if we did have one of these guys weighing more, let's say this one weighed more, we'd know that the heavier coin would be in this bunch. So then we'd remove this and say, all right, these must be all good, split this up, weigh it just like the last time, and then split the heavier side, boom, done. Now let's go with the second kind of general way to do this. So instead of splitting into groups of four, three groups of four, we're gonna do two groups of six. So we're gonna do one side here and one side here, right? Then let's say whichever side is heavier, let's say this side is heavier, I know all these six coins are good to go, so I'm gonna put them back. Then I'm gonna take this group and I'm gonna break it up into two. I'm gonna break it up into three and three. And we're gonna weigh these guys like so. Whichever one is heavier, let's say the one on the right is heavier. We know that the heavy coin is in this group. So now we got one way left, right? So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna arbitrarily pick two coins. I'm gonna pick these two, right? If one of them is heavier, we know that's the heavy coin. If they're equal in weight, we know that the heavy coin must be the odd man out. So in any of these iterations, we're gonna find the heavy coin in three scale uses. I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.